We just made these two porch posts in about two hours using a 4x4 and some pre-cut trim. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? We do too. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're making some porch posts. We went to the farmer's market and sold out. <laughs> sold out. To the point where they're buying our displays. So we need to make some more porch posts. Right, we had intended to make some porch posts and bring them to the farmer's market to sell them. We actually made this project mm, two years ago. Yeah, like two years ago. So we were, th we were thinking they would be a great farmer's market item, so we used them actually as displays, and sure enough, they, they bought both of them, and they bought them rather quickly. So we're ne we need to make more. And then we thought we'd show you guys how to make them again because they're a really hot seller. So if you're interested in doing a farmer's market, here's a good item for you. <laughs> or you can use it as a display, like we were. Yeah. Until well, those vultures we... started picking apart our booth, it, it, trying well, to buy everything. That's what you want. They even commented on our... Tablecloth. Tablecloth. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was saying, I think they wanted to buy our tablecloth. I was like, no, they didn't. They're they like just that. were saying, because it's got this um, farmhouse wood paneling look to it, so it's cute. All they did was comment on it. Well, I mean, by that point, we were down to two rounds. One was scratched and one looked wonky. And yeah, there. <laughs> and one porch sign. That's right. We only had three items left last week. That was, it was great. It was good. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a four by four, eight foot long. We needed a one by 12. We picked this up a six foot long board. We'll be using as our base for our post. A wood post base trim pieces. This is to make the bottom look all nice. Some regular trim pieces. This is to make it look fancy. A small dog-eared picket. This is to be a little feet. Some knobs or hooks to hang our signs from some kind of topper or sofa foot, some paint, stains, probably some brad nails. <laughs> We're probably looking at some glue. I think that's about it. Step two, take two. <laughs> We're gonna make all of our cuts. We actually just finished up all of our cuts, but somebody forgot to turn the microphones on. Me. <laughs> <laughs> So we we didn't know if the little pocket saw, my little buddy, would make it through this big, thick, wet piece of 4x4, four four. but it did. I had to rotate it three times, as, as shown here. I had to rotate it three times, but it did make it through. Right, and I don't even know that you had to rotate it, right? I mean, it looked like it cut halfway yeah, through. Yeah, we cut halfway through. Flip it and cut the other half, mm -hmm. so you could use this little guy to cut a whole 4x4. Four now we just need to cut down that one by 12. We need to cut it down to 11 and a quarter inches. That's actually what a one by 12 is. We're gonna make it square. I'm gonna cut two for me. I'm gonna pin them together and make a two by 12. Now we're gonna cut all of our little pieces of trim. I'm gonna measure them against the four by four, cut them all on a 45, give them a little miter. And that's all of our cuts, right? That's it. Step three. Step three. Ooh, now we paint. <laughs> and stain. We're gonna paint and stain. I just said to them, how many times are we gonna attempt this two brush toss? Two. And he said two, and it worked. Two tries. <laughs> Second try. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna paint mine this uh, pop the bubbly, because I don't want to stain. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, I thought you would want to stain. No. no. You want me to stain. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'd rather paint than stain, but I'd rather not paint either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to paint one, we're going to stain one. One of them is going to be in this Jacobean, this dark stain. We actually had quite a little uh, conversation just a moment ago on which color to stain it. So you can give me your thoughts here. I know you've seen us use briar smoke a million times. It's like gray. It's like a grayish brown, yeah. So I was thinking that would look nice with a black top, uh, but Garrett thought since this one's gonna be Pop the Bubbly and they're gonna stand next to each other to make the second one darker. So I'm gonna go Jacko Bean, but I want you guys to tell me what you think about the Briar Smoke. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited about this Pop the Bubbly color. Ooh, 
so dark. I thought painting was supposed to be easy this uh, project, but I just learned that we have to paint all these little trim pieces. Like all these, all of these little trim pieces. You black. only have to do half of them and it won't take but a minute. Look, I mean, he painted this whole post. Lickety split. Lickety so. split, right. But that was a big post. These are. <laughs> It'll be quick. Come on. It'll be quick. We're painting them licorice. We're using it's, our it's... country chic chalk paint in licorice. Yes, I'm sorry. So we got this little bun foot at this we got at Home Depot, yep. right? And we're gonna make it a finial for the top of the post. And we also use this, I think we used the same one for our um, lanterns, didn't we? Yep, same exact one for the lanterns. So I think, and I love the way it looked on top of the lantern, so I'm really excited to see how it's going to look on top of this um, porch post. Step four, and now we're gonna assemble it. First, we're gonna find the center of our bottom. <laughs> we actually get a lot of questions about these little triangle things, these little pyramids. We just get them on Amazon. I think they're like six bucks for like a lot of them. I don't even remember. I thought you weren't gonna use numbers. Oh, yeah, no numbers. Forget you heard that. <laughs> we're gonna find the center of our bottoms. Kim's thick bottom. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so I don't know if I mentioned it before, maybe I did, but I'm just gonna reiterate. Mine looks like a two by 12 because I've glued two of the one by 12s together. And I like this thick bottom. And he's gonna go with the thin bottom. I'm going with a petite, petite bottom. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna drill a little hole in the center. This is gonna be way easier than trying to line it up center. Um, Even fingerprints, we're gonna have to wipe it down before we spray it. Yeah, that's the bad part about the flat blackness. We're gonna do the... Oh. We're gonna find the center of the bottom of this. I will put something away in a heartbeat. All you have to do is blink and I will put it away. She will. <laughs> Just gonna make a little pilot hole. Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> That's two holes on either side of the center. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'll try to aim for the center with the screw. Okay. You want to attach the feet. Now we cut four little feet for each one of these bad boys. And we use the, that small dog-eared picket because it's pressure treated. This will be sitting on the ground. Probably collected moisture underneath the foot. So you want to pressure treat it. One by 12, not pressure treated. And I'm just going to tack them down with a one and a half inch brad. Oops. The nail. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna start my three inch nail. Screw. I'm just gonna start my three inch screw. Let's glue it first. Yeah, oh, yeah. there you go. You got it. <laughs> like Thor's hammer. All right, let's do my bottom. Oh my goodness. Oh, Whew. oh look at that, there we go. We're just gonna glue the trim on and then hit it with a brad. Okay, 
Yours, I want that black solar cap. I don't know why I keep calling it yours. <laughs> so mine, which I designed, is getting this black solar cap that I just found out about. <laughs> to go along with the trim I didn't know I was doing and the color. <clears throat> So I think for mine, I'm just going to, oh, it goes this way. Yeah. <laughs> Install this cap, I think, and then glue, a little glue and screw this thing in. Just gonna add our little knob pieces, our things that are gonna hold our signs. I got this, whatever this thing is from Hobby Lobby. And then Kim got this, whatever this thing is from Hobby Lobby. It's a hook, but he insists it looks like an elephant. Yeah, I swear it looks like an elephant. <laughs> We're just gonna use these oh, one inch screws. just silver but we're gonna hit them with a little spray paint or um, think the chalk paint will work acrylic well yeah I mean I think you can cover it okay there you just go covered it. <laughs> step five and now we have the accents it's really just hanging these signs that we make <laughs> Oh, my knob is too big. Can't get it, ugh. My knob is too big. <laughs> <laughs> we just got demonetized, Kim. <laughs> I'm gonna take these out, hit them with some clear coat, and that's it. We are done. So these are really, really pretty easy. Uh, they were quick and easy. All we had to do is, you didn't have to use the trim that we cut on 45s, but yeah. like those caps that he used on the bottom of his. Which they look are, fine. Yeah, they're already pre-mitered and we just put one facing right side up and one facing upside down and they made, it made it look like the other one. So you don't even have to have trim skills <laughs> and i don't have trim He's skills the worst at miter cuts for i sure. am the worst i am the worst at miters and what was great is that you could buy these little caps and like he said this was a, actually a bun foot from a sofa over in the is it home depot where the rest of the legs and um like wood legs table legs and stuff are and then this one is really great because it has that solar so oh yeah, the solar light <laughs> the solar cap on it so the light will come on at night and, and it'll always shine on my sign <laughs> always keep his sign all lit up <laughs> so. and uh next week we'll show you how to make these signs that's yes, uh this is our project next for week's next project week. we'll show you how we're making the boards the words and i cool technique I found for painting these things. Oh, look at the time. It's about that time. It's way past time, Kim. So we gotta go. So we'll see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And I am not balancing these. They are too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, and the sound, I can balance this one. There you go. It's got a point on it. We'll see. We'll see how even I, I made this thing. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at the symmetry. Look at the symmetry. <laughs> <laughs>